In Health Watch, new hope for people diagnosed with one of the deadliest cancers. Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us how robots are upping the chances of survival. Pancreatic cancer. By the time you know you have it, it's usually too late. In fact, pancreatic cancer has the highest mortality rate of all major cancers. But now a new life-saving robotic surgery is giving those diagnosed with pancreatic cancer a fighting chance. I did some work for a guy and he said, I want to give you a gift. And the collection just kept growing. Old phones, turn-of-the-century typewriters, antique stoves. For 75-year-old Don Somerville, memories of the past can be spotted all around his house. That's 750 A.D. Don's lived a long, full life. A soldier, a singer, a lawyer, and now a cancer survivor. You know, is that whenever you tell people pancreatic cancer, people go, oh, I'm sorry. You already know they're basically, you know, writing you off right as you sit there. But surgeon Ahmad Abu Abbas is not going to let that happen. He used a new state-of-the-art robotic Whipple procedure to laparoscopically remove Don's cancer. It's like driving a machine, and I sit on the machine, and actually every move I do, it translates into a movement in the robot. The Whipple procedure creates tiny incisions in the abdomen, about the size of a pencil head, to reach the pancreas. For cancers in the head of the pancreas, it entails removing the head of the pancreas with all the other organs and doing all that reconstruction. The Whipple uses a 3D camera that magnifies the area nine times. Instead of recovery taking up to 10 days in the hospital, patients experience less pain and may go home in four days. They are up and walking next day. Some of it's worse a lot and some of it isn't. For Don, after surgery followed by chemo, he now has more life to live and more memories to make. I am so happy with that outcome. Pancreatic cancer is so hard to treat because it's usually not detected until later stages. Early symptoms include jaundice, irritated skin, a dull pain in the belly or upper abdomen, weight loss, nausea, and blood clots. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.